Good morning, dear aspirant. To start with today's news, efforts to open Zozila tunnel ahead to the deadline, says Gadkari. GS3 geographical uh, feature, sorry, GS1 and geographical features. Zozila is located in Dras, Ladakh, at an altitude of 11,650. Uh, uh, meter and historically it was remained closed for major part of the winter season. Zozila is a high mountain pass located in the Kargil district of Ladakh. The pass link the Leh and Srinagar and provide important link between Union territories of Ladakh and Kashmir. Zozila is known, and known as the mountain pass of blizzards. And Zozila pass remains closed during winters due to heavy snowfall cutting off Ladakh region from Kashmir. In 2018, Zozila Tunnel project was launched. The tunnel is Asia's longest and strategic bidirectional tunnel, which will provide all-weather connectivity between Srinagar, Kargil and Leh. So other tunnels like Jawahar Tunnel is also called Banihal Tunnel or Banihal Pass. It is situated between, between Banihal and Kwasi Gun and tunnel facilitates round the year road connectivity between Srinagar and Jammu. And there is a Pirpanjal Railway Tunnel which is a, India's longest transportation railway tunnel. The tunnel link is a only broad gauge mountain railway in India. Stretches through Pirpanjal mountain range between Fasi Gun and Baramulla. The tunnel section is part of Udampur Srinagar Baramulla Rail Link project. Nani tunnels are the series of four highway tunnels built under Nani Wildlife Sanctuary on Jammu Srinagar National Highway in Udampur district. So preventive detention give arbitrary power to state. This comes under GS2 fundamental rights. Preventive detention is a simpler sense means to curb the liberty of an individual without the knowledge. There are two types of detention, one preventive, another one is punitive. So Article 22 Class 1 says that uh, in an arrested person cannot be denied the right to consult or to be defended by a legal practitioner. Also for preventive detention and restriction on personal liberty of state security and public order. Article 22 Class 4 says that no law providing for preventive uh, detention shall authorize the detention of a person for a longer period than three months. And the advisory board reporters cause for uh, extending the detention. Such a person is detained in accordance with the provision of any law made by the parliament. 44th Amendment Act 1978 has reduced the period of detention without obtaining the opinion of advisory board from 3 to 2 months. Under entry 9 of list 1, parliament has the exclusive power to enact law for preventive detention. On the other hand, entry 3 of list 3, both parliament and state have power to enact such law for the reasons related to maintenance of public order or maintenance of supply or services essential to the community. Under section 151 of Criminal Procedure Code 1973, preventive detention is action taken on ground of suspicious activities. Basic difference between preventive is it is uh, anticipatory measure. Punitive is uh, detaining a person for committing any offence. Mutual fund in invested in Indian equities is increased. Mutual fund is an investment vehicle that pool fund from investor and invest in equity bond governments securities, gold and other assets. Company that qualify to set up mutual fund can create uh, asset management companies or few fund houses that pool in the money from investors, market mutual fund, manage investments. Okay, Mutual funds are managed by sound financial professional known as fund managers uh, and the AMC charges a fee to investor known as expense uh, ratio. Thank you. If you have any queries, feel free to contact this number.